How's it going? Hope everyone's doing well. <sighs> it is nice to sit down. Uh, I have 17,612 steps in just for today. Oh, that over there. <laughs> Sorry, my room is a mess. Good thing you can't see it. <laughs> I do. Oh, let me refresh. Should say I'm playing Power Wash Simulator now. I hope. Just let me know. I forgot to refresh and hit done when I was done. You know. <sighs> yeah, I forgot that I was playing Katana Zero before this. Yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. Wow. I swear, yesterday feels like a week ago. It's been uh, a hectic day at work, and I don't know. It was fine. Um, I was just a little tired. Um, I, uh, whew. today was just a long day. Katana Zero is very good. Uh, I thought it was just going to be a one-off. I don't think it's going to be. With the uh, way that everything was in that game. Yeah, you're right. <coughs> Excuse me. I think uh, I think we're gonna play that game a lot. Ooh, that's very loud for me. I don't know if it's very loud for you guys. No, it doesn't seem that. I want to say it was C. I uh, I don't know. I figure it'd be nice to just do something a little more relaxing. Today was just a, a hectic day, and I want to relax and do some things. I want to stream, but I'm also like, oh boy, am I tired? I uh, your ad here, um. How do I crouch? Cool. Um, I, uh, I don't know. I, uh, how do I want to say this without sounding ungrateful? As much as I've enjoyed streaming and doing this one year goal, I could tell that I'm looking forward to when it's over. <laughs> Not that like I hate streaming because I really don't. I actually really enjoy doing it. I just know that I'm a little tired. And sometimes it's a little discouraging because I'm like, man, I feel bad. Because, like, I really do sometimes feel like I'm, like, phoning it in and I'm trying not to. Um, it just be like that sometimes, I guess. And uh, I don't know. Um, I just, I don't want you to think, like, that I'm being disingenuine or, you know, because I, I really don't want to be. I, uh, I miss TV, you know, honestly, I miss TV and we're so far into this that like, I don't want to stop. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like it would just be bad. You know, I already, I already said I'd do it, you know? I, uh, I don't know. It's been a crazy fucking year, though, let me say. Like, I could not have imagined, you know, like, oh, like eight, nine months ago at this point. Like, telling myself, hey, you know that thing you've been trying to do for ten years? creating content and having people enjoy it and possibly getting to the starts of making a career out of it. That's going to happen this year. And <laughs> you know what I mean? I would have probably looked at myself from nine months ago and have been like, bro, you're fucking dumb. <laughs> and yeah, you know, uh, I, I have to really like give credit to the wife. Cause like she said, like, 
it's it's weird not having like a night to enjoy with the wife sometimes and that's not your guys's fault i just want to say that because it's not it's it's my fault i i decided to go with this goal and i am looking forward to having a little more free time and you know there's a there's a thought behind it too of this is just me talking like kind of behind the scenesy um where like marketing wise like if i'm like oh yeah i'm streaming every day it kind of takes the rarity of some of the streams i think away like you know, like, oh, yeah, he'll just be doing it tomorrow versus, like, oh, no, he's not going to be doing it for a couple of days. You know what I mean? I might as well hop in. You know what I mean? There's there's some of that in my head, too, you know? Like, the it, it's, it's not a valuable commodity, per se, with this goal. And I don't know. I, I don't want to feel like some cheap ass by... You know, oh, hey, we're streaming, oh, hey, we're streaming, oh, hey, we're streaming. I would like to have some of that, that value back of, you know, experiencing something together for the first time with more people because, oh, shit, he isn't streaming. You know what I mean? So maybe maybe I should hop in and, and do it. Um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe that... Maybe that sounds pretentious? I'm really not trying to be when I when I talk about it. I, I I hope you guys know, that's not my goal here. I'm just saying like, I don't know. It, it's hard to it's hard to explain what I'm trying to say without sounding like, like a posh dick. It's it's yeah. It's it's what I'm trying to be is practical. You're right. Thank you. Thank you for giving me that word. Cause, I mean. The way that I'm looking at this is I want this to be a business in in a manner of speaking where I provide entertainment, you know what I mean? And sometimes that entertainment can feel cheap if it's just there, you know? It, it kind of goes along the lines of, like, uh, things like choice paralysis where... Um, there was studies done where there's, you know, people given a choice, uh, Mindfield, Vsauce's YouTube premium sh uh, series, they did a thing about it where, um, oh god, what am I trying to say? Uh, choice paralysis is a thing of being given too many options and not knowing what to decide because your brain doesn't know what it's going to be content with. And... Um... So the study was given that they were given two options of two different kinds of jelly beans. One group was. And they had to pick one or the other, and then they were asked if they were content with their choice. And then they did another group where they were given, like, 30 different choices of jelly beans. And they noticed that, for example, a lot of people took a lot longer to pick and that a lot of them weren't exactly satisfied with their choice of jelly bean. Um, and I'm not trying to say, like, I'm not happy with my choice of picking streaming every day. It's there's a lot of paralysis there too cuz like time for certain games is indeed of the essence and I know like I'm missing out on the premiere of the Mortuary Assistant by trying to hold off until October for spooky games. You know, that's that's why I'm I'm doing things in a certain way whereas instead of just doing them as they come out also like I, I it's not that i don't want to play them i want to give something to look forward to um versus oh yeah he's just streaming you know what i mean i want there to be some sort of uh excitement that sometimes i worry isn't there anymore 
you know, when I when I get live. And again, I'm really not trying to be that guy where I'm like, oh, you should be excited when I stream. It's it's not that. It's I want to do something that makes it interesting for the people and not just me, you know, doing my thing for the sake of doing my thing. And uh, I hope that makes sense. Um, that's that's why I'm holding off. I have like ideas that I want to do. Like, I want to change not the layout, but the colors of the layout for Halloween. Uh, then to also, um, I didn't get it really in time, but like I wanted to change the colors for like Pride Month and stuff. But that was also the same month I did my entire reformat change. And I was like, I don't want people to be confused. So I unfortunately didn't get to do the rainbow colors that I wanted to do during Pride Month. So I instead chose to make things in a rainbow filament on my 3D printer to kind of make up for that. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm worried that... Uh, I'm not necessarily... No, it's not, it's not that I'm worried about there not being any fuel in the tank for me to stay creative i'm i'm more concerned about there not being a want for the fuel in the tank if that makes sense because i've got plenty of ideas it's just trying to implement them in a way that's practical with this goal you know what i mean i i, I really hope that makes sense because it, it's it's just one of those things where uh, like I said, it's, it's, I want to keep things interesting as much as I can, which is why, like, I like doing, I like doing community nights, but I want them to also not be something that's like, hey, every, every sp specific day or, um, because it's, it's something that's going to keep it interesting instead of it being a scheduled thing, you know? I don't know, it's it's something that's been on my mind that I've I've wanted to talk about for a while and I, I didn't know how to quite formulate it into the proper words, and I still don't. But I wing things all the fucking time. Winging things is one of my specialties. I make shit up as I go, and for better or worse. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. But, you know... Again, that's something that can also make life interesting. Just Sometimes you just got to fly by the seat of your pants and hope everything works out. And that's how streaming started for me, actually, was... Uh, I know I, I've talked about it many a time, and if this is the, your first time watching me, or your first VOD of mine that you're seeing, I, I like to talk about it. Uh, I was in a job that I hated. It made me sick every day. I literally would throw up before going into work. Um, for fuck's sake, my certain alarm sound, I had to stop using that alarm sound because it immediately made me feel this sense of dread. And the one day I, I just said, I can't do it anymore. And my, my hope was to follow my dream of doing streams, truthfully. Um, and that day, I woke up that morning, same gut-wrenching alarm, and I looked at my wife and I said, I'm going back to bed, and when I wake up, I'm not looking back. And it was a scary time. Absolutely was. And obviously it wasn't the choice for me because obviously I need something to fill in the gaps of income and, uh, you know, be able to live the lifestyle that I want for now. And so I eventually had to get another job. But I chose to still not look back. I chose not to let work or a job own me. I've I've had two different jobs since I've started working or since I started streaming because the one 
I said, you know what? The same for me. This is this is starting to own me, and I don't like that. And so I did something about it. You know, I refuse to be unhappy and subjected to things that I don't think I should be. And that might seem controlling. Or, you know, it might seem like, oh, well, you just can't handle certain pressures. And you're goddamn right, I can't. <laughs> Not everything is for everyone. And, oh, there's little cat prints on this car. But it, it, um, you know what I mean? It, it's, you can't always change everything that's around you. But you can damn sure make sure the things that you will absolutely not tolerate in your life not be there. It's it's just a fact of life. You know, if you're miserable, change it. Be about the things that you love. Don't let anybody make you feel bad for the things that you love to do. You know? Lurk having a night with wife, but I can't not be here. But you cannot be here. <laughs> it's okay. I understand, buddy. Enjoy your night with the wife. You earned it. And it's... But but legitimately, it's... Like, I can't not be in stream. I, I know what you meant, buddy. I just have to give you a hard time, as always. But, um... Legitimately... We gotta watch this time lapse. And while I'm doing that, I'll, I'll keep talking. Um... It, it took me a while to figure it out. You know? It, it took me a while to, to understand that I don't have to be subjected to the things that I don't want to be. You know what I mean? We're listening to nostalgic music and being nostalgic. We're listening to nostalgic and being music. Uh, you know, funny enough, the wife and I did that the one night um, where we uh, I, I opened up my Spotify and it was like, listen, oh, excuse me, listen to the classic 2000s, 2001s, 2000s. Uh, 2002s and I was like you know what let's see what we remember and like what we recognize from that time era and it was weird realizing that certain songs that we still would listen to are in that time era nothing wrong with that you know speaking of nostalgia I mean I'm just going to talk about how I feel about my streams there's something that I do kind of miss about that era of when I started where it was two streams a day and I was still figuring out what I was doing. I'm not going to lie to you and say that I know what I'm doing. Because I don't. There's still excitement. You know, when I when I stream every day. It's, it's, I like hearing from you guys every day. And, and talking about your days. And um, I know lately uh, everyone's been kind of busy. And that's fine. You're allowed to have a life out of here. You know, I'll never be like, how dare you not come into my stream? <sighs> you know, I'm not going to be that guy. Um, I do miss some people. You know, there's some people that I, I like seeing every now and again. And it, it, it almost feels like a reverse role. Y you know what I mean? Like where I got I to gotta fucking take my watch off. It's actually pissing off my wrist as I'm sitting here trying to play. <laughs> like it, it's actually digging into my my. Uh, wrist I'm, I'm not sure if you can see that square block in my wrist but um i uh it, it's kind of funny because like i think about it and i'm like you know i'm talking about rarity and such but like when i see certain people i'm like ooh, this is neat you know like when i see certain people come in i'm like oh my god i haven't seen them in a long time and uh it, it almost feels like there's like a reverse role where like where it should be I, I'm, I'm gonna use terms that I don't necessarily think are true here um, it's it's it should be the other way around it should be the consumer uh, not that I consider you guys consumers I consider you guys friends I consider you guys fans I you know what I mean you like what I do so obviously you, you, you stuck around for some reason and I'm I'm grateful for it um, but, like, I don't want to, you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know. It, uh, it's weird. Uh, I don't know how to quite formulate it. I haven't thought it, I haven't thought it through 100% yet how I want to say things. But, um, I don't know. I, I, I just found it kind of funny 
as I was talking. Um, but there, there is a nostalgic thing there for me too. Uh, speaking of nostalgia, I, I do miss those the early days of your streaming and just hanging out and not knowing what I'm doing and trying to to get that affiliate status. You know what I mean? There's there's something I do miss a lot about that, but. I'm content with where I've gotten because I uh, I did it, you know. I, I, I always will say that we did it. But, like, I, it started with a dream of mine that I would get to this point at least. And, you know, the only real way is up from here. And I don't know. It, it, it I'm, I'm, I'm kind of glad that I didn't look at my, um, like, like I was saying in the beginning with my nine month old or not, not my nine month old, but my, my, myself nine months ago, I'm glad that I'm not that person anymore where I just tolerated shit because you keep your head down they they feed you you know it, it's I once I got older I started to realize my worth and I also started to realize from another standpoint of what is my worth you know um like what what am I doing that makes me worthwhile you know, I, I, I looked, you know, a lot of it to my jobs, like my my uh, first job that I had before I uh, I quit and started streaming. It was not providing me anything. I wasn't really providing it anything. I was there to collect a paycheck and go home and I was barely able to just do that. I had people coming up to me that weren't even my boss telling me. The second I got into the building, not even a hello. They just be like, hey, you did this wrong yesterday. Just so you know. And just the stress of going into that every fucking day or your immediate supervisors telling you, hey, your numbers are shit. L literally saying your numbers are shit. It makes sense because you're doing this wrong. And it's like, OK, well, then fucking tell me how to fix it. And they never did. So I realized. Just. The one day I came in, uh, I thought, um, this is around the holidays. Uh, I'll tell you the story of why I left that job for, I left that job for a couple of reasons, but I was already debating on leaving it because I was like, you know what? Um, I want to do what makes me happy. And if I can make a living doing it, that is my dream. I, I, I. I sort of soon realized that, uh, well, with my mom passing, I learned the lesson of life is way too fucking short. And I've tried to live every day to go to sleep happy. You know, not that I can't look myself in a mirror because I can. I can look myself in the mirror and, you know. Even on my bad days, I'm not, I'm not like one of those people where I, I can't even face myself. It's, um, I wanted to look at myself and say, you tried, you fucking tried. You know what I mean? Whether you failed or succeeded, you fucking tried. And I never gave myself that really, you know, like did I give this my all and no, I didn't. You know, and there would be times where I'm like, I'm not happy with how that came out. And I, instead of trying again, I would kind of give up. I'd just get frustrated. And that job, I have to thank that job, honestly, for kind of making me realize I needed to turn a new leaf. You know, you know it, it, it showed me that I can be so much more than sitting there stuck in a fucking factory being told that my work is bullshit and 
you know, just waking up and throwing up every fucking day. You know what I mean? Like, but my, my last straw at that job was, it was around the holidays. My wife and I got sick with the flu and we thought it was COVID. And I was out for two weeks. I called them every day telling them, hey, uh, I'm not doing great. I'm not coming in because I don't want to get people sick. I just, I don't want to, you know what I mean? And some of them were like, yeah, I understand. And they said, as long as you have a doctor's excuse, you're fine. You know, and I'm like, okay, I'll get one. But it was around the holidays, and all these doctors were so fucking busy, including my my own primary care physician. They were like, we cannot see you. We're so packed. Like, even their walk-in clinic was done. Like, they were like, we're not doing walk-ins right now because the holidays are fucking wild. Because COVID cases were through the fucking roof. And uh, so I tried doing the online teledoc stuff. Um, like, virtual doctor visits. And uh, they were so busy that they canceled two of my appointments. I tried scheduling with them. So I'm like, well, fuck. Okay. So I had proof that my doctor's appointments were canceled and not by my own accord. I had a particular supervisor at this job who was a dick about, oh, you just printed that doctor's excuse online. Ha ha ha. And I'm like, okay, cool. Why don't you call that phone number and tell me that I fucking printed it? Like, they were they were an actual dick. Um, they weren't even necessarily trying to be funny. They were just trying to find any kind of, you know what I mean? And uh, so I um. I had proof of two doctor's appointments being canceled. And my my boss boss called me in and said, we need to talk. He's like, do you have this paperwork? And I said, I do. And he said, were you cleared by your doctor to come back to work? And I said, no, I wasn't. But every time I called in, I was given a hard time. And I figured I'd want to talk to you. And they said, listen, you are a health liability He's, he said, you can't come in until your doctor clears you. So I had to wait till my doctor was able to see me in order to clear me. I uh, eventually got to my doctor. Had proof of that visit. Had proof of the two canceled visits. And they wrote me up and told me it was my final warning. And uh, I can't tell you what kind of factory it was because it's so specific. And we're like one of the, well, they, they are like one of the few factories that do this kind of machinery. And uh, they were like, okay, you're working on machine five and six. All right, fine. I, you know, I was like, you know what, whatever, I'm just gonna do the things that they want me to do. And that wasn't even the final straw for me. The write-up wasn't the final straw. It was the fact that I was doing all these things wrong, right? Wrong. From people who weren't my boss. And <clears throat> I walk in, go to the machines they told me to. These machines, so this, this particular facility runs 24-7. I have to stop so I can focus on what I'm trying to say without giving names away. Ugh, excuse me. Um, this particular factory would run 24-7. And if you didn't set up the machines and get everything ready to go for the next shift, you would get in trouble. I walk over to my machines five and six. And 
they weren't even turned on. They the materials I needed weren't there. Nothing was set up and prepared. I had to fucking bum rush my way to make sure that my numbers were ready and good when I came back. And I thought to myself, I get yelled at people or I get yelled at by people who are not my boss who tell me that I'm doing things wrong when I'm doing the best of my ability to do everything right. And whoever ran these machines before me did not even have the fucking decency to set me up for success like I would set them up for on their shift. That was my final straw. Because it made me realize, what the fuck am I doing here? If if I'm giving my best and these people cannot, what fucking good are they to me? And it sounds really wrong and really fucked up the way I'm say- saying it. It sounds selfish. But I would do things that wasn't my job. I would do things that shouldn't have been my job. I did things that almost risked limbs. These machines could take your your fingers and fucking shatter them. They would burn you. I would come home several times and I'd have burns and cuts all over my my arms and my hands because these machines, they weren't exactly safe. Um, And they didn't train you the safe way. They trained you. This factory worker's been here for 10 some years and uh, this is how I get it done. Yeah, it's a little risky, but whatever. You know what I mean? It was that kind of place. And I said to myself, fuck this. After my shift, I'm not coming back. And that morning, the next morning, I heard that same fucking alarm. Immediately got filled with anxiety. I almost felt like I was going to cry. I I legitimately almost cried. And my wife woke up next to me. Because she heard my alarm. And I looked at her and said, I love you. I can't do this anymore. And I started to realize that this this wasn't that day that I started to realize it. It was over the course of the months that I worked there that I was becoming severely depressed. And it wasn't anything... I, I was tired of not having control of something that I wanted to do that made me happy. And I looked at her and I said, it's time for a new chapter. And I kissed my wife on the forehead. I shut that alarm off. And I went back to bed. And then I woke up at noon. (laughs) And the amount of relief that I had. Knowing what my next step was. Because I had been talking to her, to, to her about this. And I said, maybe I should just... Like, I was looking for other jobs at the same time. And I said, but I think here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I want to try and do is I want... I said, I want to do streaming solo by myself. Where I have control over what happens. Where I have most of the say-so. And I I just never looked back. And honestly, I have to thank that job for it because I, I, I wouldn't be where I am now without it. It gave me that little extra push and it made me realize that my life is worth so much more being here doing this than it is slaving away at some place that's just going to make me feel like fucking garbage all the time. There was no joy in that in that building. And 
I I don't know, like I uh I'm just happy. I'm just happier now. So when I always end it <clears throat> end end it end of the end of the streams and I tell people to do something good for themselves. I did something good for me. And it was as simple as installing a program and doing something that I think I'm decent at. And it kind of changed my fucking life. And all it takes is just that little push. Just that, that little... <clears throat> it could come from a place of anger, even. You know, like... Like, I've had enough. And I need something better. Thank you. Honey, I appreciate that. Whatever it is that makes you decide to do that thing... Whether you're just fucking mad and pissed off about it... Or it's for your own health or whatever it is, it is so worth doing. I, I'm, I'm so glad that I never looked back. I'm not saying to do what I did because obviously it was a huge fucking risk and it put a lot of stress on my wife. It put a lot of stress on me to try and do the thing, you know. But now I'm in a I'm in a place where I'm not necessarily content cuz I'll never be content with anything I do, I don't think. It, uh, I I always have looked at contentment as the enemy of progress. And it's not that I'm not happy. I just I don't want to stop moving forward. Because you just realize that you have this, this want for something greater for yourself. And it's not always about money. It's, you have this want because you feel like you can do so much more with your time that you feel is valuable. For me, it's this. You know? I don't really care that I'm you know, not making very much money. I, I, I like doing it. It's, it's so much fun for me. Yeah. There's not going to be, it's not going to be perfect all the time. And yeah, you're going to get frustrated with whatever it is that you love to do. But as long as you, you remember why you started and remember what gave it that value to you, you'll you'll kind of just remember why you're thankful for the things that you have. I don't know. I, I, I lost train of thought a little bit, but I just, I'm so glad that I never looked back. And I've met great people doing this. I've learned a bit about myself. I've learned that I can push myself to go a little further, to go a little harder into it, to to express myself more. I, I, I've learned a lot doing this. And because I've had people here to to give me their time, which time is one of the most valuable things, if not the most valuable thing in my opinion. I've learned that I think I have a lot more to give. Not even just to the people that watch, but to myself. And, you know, I'm excited for further endeavors. I'm excited for, you know, like this, this year goal, I'll ne I'm not bitching about the goal. I think I'm just excited for it to be over. Also, not just because, oh, I miss TV. It, that's obviously a joke. But I'm excited because it means I've done something that I wanted to do. And I'm excited to see that finish line. 
you know? And I don't know, it, it's just, it's one of those things, like, it, the, the term reminds me of Final Fantasy VIII because that's where I first heard it, which ironically we're going back to because it was the first game I ever streamed. We're going back to it in December and we're going to go fucking ridiculous. And uh, the first time I heard the phrase, hurry up and wait, really kind of applies to how I feel. Because I'm just, I'm, I'm pushing and I know I'm doing it, but I just want that end result. You know what I mean? Sometimes patience isn't one of my best virtues. Sometimes I feel like I don't have a partner. Sometimes I feel like my only friend is the city I live in and the city of angels. What is that from? What is that from, Spike? Did I accidentally quote something? What is that from? Fuck. from you're gonna kill me over here man i know i've been kind of going off on like a soapbox a little bit but i just like to talk about what's on my mind you know like i i like to check in and talk about the progress of how i feel in this whole journey it's been a hell of a journey but man has it been rewarding you know oh red hot chili peppers okay can I be honest? I was never a big fan of the Red Hot Chili Peppers. You're fine, buddy. I'm talking about my uh, spiritual experience <laughs> of streaming and playing video games for people. For people, with people, around people, about people. That, that does apply, because we played the Beginner's Guide. That game was about a people. So it's not wrong. But yeah, nothing wrong with going on a musical journey. I miss doing that. I need to I need to do musical journey stuff again. I uh I don't know. I kind of want to do a music stream eventually here too again. I enjoyed writing that bit of Hollow Bastion from Kingdom Hearts on stream. That was that was fun. Why is this wheel not coming clean? There it goes. But yeah, um... Sorry if I... I don't know. Seemed weird talking about this stuff. I, I just... I'm, I'm passionate about the things I do. And... I just... I can't wait to do more. You know? <clears throat> Man, I've been talking and just realized I almost have a whole fucking fire truck and another car clean. But that's, um,. Like I was saying about, you know, I always encourage people to do something great for themselves. And I like to see when people do things they love. Because you can tell when they love it.
Um, this is just something that I like doing. I, lo I love doing it. I don't even like it. I love it. I want some more of it. <laughs> uh, I'm just excited to, to do more things, to, to find more interesting approaches. Um, to keep the spark going. You know? You see a lot of people just talk about how they're just burned out and tired and I don't want to be that way ever. If something ever stops being fun, I'll just stop. But like, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, if it, if it hurts to do something, not that you, you can't avoid the stuff that hurts, but You, you gotta make sure there's happiness in there because life is fucking miserable, man. One of the first things I heard as an adult was life sucks and then you die. But what about the in-between? Nobody ever talks about the in-between. And when they do, it's because it's too late to change anything about it. I don't want to... I don't want to live a life of what-ifs. I want to uh, live a life of, yeah, I tried it. It's good. <laughs> you know what I mean? It wasn't for me, but I won't say it's not for you kind of thing. You know, like I, I want to just live something, not something that's predestined or so I, I just do things. I do things. I try to make things. I uh, fucking get philosophical every now and again. You know? I uh, got to find a ladder. Sorry that I'm going on a rant a bit. I just... I don't know. I don't always feel like I get a chance to connect. You know? And express what is on my mind. Police rules, fire drools. Well, thanks for that. Get that the fuck off my truck. Um... <laughs> I don't know. I, uh... Anybody else feel the same way? You know? Where you feel like you have more to give and want to make sure that you at least give a decent effort before you say, no, nah, I'm done. Like, that shit ain't for me. Because... I don't know, maybe there's something wrong with me where I'm like, no, I have to. Not that I... I'm a very proactive person. You know, I choose to do things. Not that I have to do things. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to put this ladder over here. Can I, can I climb on the thing? Um, I'm kind of glad I did this tonight. Just get to relax. You know, check in on my own feelings. It's important to do that from time to time. Just 
Not that this is mindless per se, but because it ain't. There's there's some there's some process to it. But you know, I think I needed to have another day of unplugging. And not focus on heavy entertainment, but rather discussion. Discussion is nice. And, I mean, the game is also very aesthetically pleasing to watch the progress. What isn't the progress, you know? What isn't the work in progress? Life is a garden, man. Dig it. I don't know, there's this... I keep I keep going back to... You know... There's a power of choice. Choosing... To let something affect you. Choosing to... Choosing to, to be better than... What you were brought into. Or... Um... choosing to, to try and leave the world a better place than you left it. It's The amazing part is it's all up to you how you want to live your life, truly. You know, what do you want for yourself? What do you... What do you want to see in the next few years? What What is it that truly wants you to get out uh, of bed in the morning? You know? There's just... There's a lot of... There's a lot of things that I think about every day and I don't know one of my one of my other like worries is that like what if I'm just like man fuck this and I don't want to do it anymore and I haven't had that thought you know because I feel like I, I still have more to do I don't know I I just uh I try to be an advocate for making sure that you can become a better person or the person that you want to be. I, I, I want to make a space for people to be better overall. It isn't just about me making stupid fart jokes all the time. Hi, Shaded. Sorry I didn't see uh, your chat. I'm focusing on the little details here. Getting a little philosophical today. You know, learning that everything that you do is important for you and all of it. You know, I don't know where to look for the rest of the dirt, though. Oh. Steps. But I hope your day was well. Well met, traveler. Me too. I grew up with... Like, no cable or TV, so I had to sit there and think. A lot of the time. You saw three different spiders today? Gross! I don't like Spideys. Spideys stress me out. Um, I had to give Mugen her medicine. Thank you for doing that, hon. But yeah, I, uh, I talked about um, the job that led me here.
and refusing to to live my life according to someone else and being wrong all the time. It sounds weird in context without like all the context. But I promise you there is context. You can barely hear me. I'm I'm starting to think it's just your computer, honey. Uh, almost walked into one as I went to open the garage door trying to put soil away. There was another smaller one on the same door and I came in the house and there was one in the house too. Jesus. It is that season. I don't like that it's that season. Handles. 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 The fucking handles. And the last time you fixed it and I told you I was right. It was better when you move towards the mic. Well, it's it's a hypercardioid mic. Um, it's kind of hard to keep it in a fixed position on a moving target. Sorry about that. Oh, these are handles. Uh, what about this handle? That uh, handle's clean as fuck. So is that handle. Handle, handle. 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 There's one more wheel. Which wheel is it? Which wheel is it that is not fucking clean? It is this wheel. There it is. And one more handle job complete. But that fixed it. Okay. It's a directional microphone, so yeah, it would make sense. Um, you know, I do have a question. Do people like when I talk more about philosophical stuff or like when I feel about it? Yeah, there is. I just don't like to use it because I'm lame. <laughs> We'll continue. Recreation vehicle. Are you practicing recreational vehicleism? <sighs> but yeah, um, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get a widespread baby. Depends on what's being talked about in the general sense. That's fair. I want to get all the the outer dirt off. I don't know. I, I feel like not a lot of people really check in with their feelings and their and their selves anymore because time is valuable and not a lot of want to not a lot of people want to spend their time evaluating what it is they want to do and I don't know I think a lot of uh places capitalize on time and if you ain't using your time right uh some people won't consider it valuable or you valuable, just sad. I, uh, you know, despite, I, I know I talked about a little bit of like retail rage that I had at work today. Just, I don't know. It wasn't like I was mad. I just, there were a lot of people that were rude. I will forever have faith in humanity. There's just something about it. You know, I don't, I, I think people are capable of great things if they put their mind to it. It's just, it's so easy to be negative and so easy to just hate everything and everyone and just spend your life in a hole and be away from it all when there's so much more to life 
and so much more to give. I don't know. I, 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 I wish people find I, I, I want people to find their way more than anything. Cause investing in people is essentially all we have. I mean you can invest in robots. But we need to invest in people first. Before we invest in the robots. We need people to make the robots, and then we can have political discussions about robots destroying the human race. But, I don't know. Investing in people is so worthwhile to me. Giving people the tools that they need to succeed is important to me. You know... Not everyone can climb a tree. Not everyone can balance a checkbook. So we need people in order to have those problems solved. You know? That was a really cool floral pattern. And I just bastardized it. It's fine. But I will stubbornly keep my faith in people because we have tons of capacity to learn, to love, to discover. I don't know. I just, it, it sucks that we live in a world where everyone focuses so highly on negatives when there are so many positive things around. You know, just waking up is a positive. I woke up today. I got to live today. It's an important step to have. You know? Sorry, I, I got hyper-focused on that wheel because the flowers... Uh, let me go over this at work all the time. Equity over equality. Everyone needs different tools to succeed, so one size fits all doesn't work. We need to focus on individuals. Yes. That's, that's how I believe. It's, it's so important. To have just, I don't know. If the world were right, we wouldn't have to have this conversation talking about investing in people, I think. I don't know. You just see so many people so focused on proving that somebody is inferior or, um, oh, they can't do this? Well, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Like, I, I hate seeing that shit. Don't get me wrong, there's, there's moments where I'll be like, you really can't do that? But I don't, like, judge somebody for it. I'm just like, oh, it's... Kind of a surprise. Here, let me show you. You know? There's not a lot of people offering help. There's not a lot of people offering encouragement. I don't know. We just live in a... We're, well, like Spike says, we, we're, we're in the bad timeline. But I would like to see a good end out of the bad timeline. So I will profusely and stubbornly believe in people.
and be very unapologetic about it. I don't know. I, I, I just, I refuse to not try and live the way I want. You know? I don't care what anybody else really thinks about me. You can say fuck all about me. I'm just a dude who does things. And... Love it or hate it. I don't care. I'm doing it. Not you. I don't know, maybe I'm just getting old. <laughs> I mean, I know I'm getting old. But I don't want to be so old and then just try to discover who I am. You know? There's still stuff I want to change about me, that's for sure. But I'm not going to do it overnight. And you shouldn't expect that of yourself either. I'm sorry, I know I need to catch up on the chat. I will here in just a second. I keep forgetting to look over. Um, when you arise in the morning, think what precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, to love. Exactly. If I'm on this side of the dirt, I'm okay. You know? Yeah, sure, I'll be upset if something happens, but, you know, you're allowed to. you're allowed to feel... You're allowed to have bad days. You're allowed to have good days. It's just, it's so important to remind yourself that, like, I've been doing this thing for myself where I'm like, this is the morning. This is a new day. This is a clean slate. I want this to be a good day, but I'm not going to focus on trying to make it a good day. Because if you try and focus on making something a good day, it's going to end up fucking bad. Because the second that you have... One bad thing happened to you. You're like, well, it's fucking ruined. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but uh, if you if you just go in thinking, not bad, not bad so far. Let's see where this goes. And you have something bad happen to you. You're only gonna. It's only going to. It's only going to affect you as much as you're going to let it. You know. It should be common sense, but sadly, corporate companies mostly see people as numbers. Unfortunately, yes. You know, um, I mean, well, when you're born, you're given a number. So that way people can identify you. And I don't know. I, I just uh, back on that human investment investing in humans you know that's why i'm big on things like if i can help the environment more so than damage it i would like to i like seeing alternative methods to what's conventional seeing beneficial properties of it you know like um i want to say it's mark ruber who actually did like an interview with Bill Gates where he showed him this thing that uh, it was a water sanitation item 
where it costs pennies on the dollar to make. And it was made by a professional uh, money, or not money launderer, Jesus Christ, a, uh, a, a laundry launderer guy, where it was a little tiny packet, right? He puts this little tiny packet of powder into this dirty ass water. He speeds it up by like five minutes and it's completely like clean. Like there's nothing wrong with it. If um if I if I remember to, I'll post a link to that video because that video is super fucking cool. So that way you guys can see where I'm going with that alternative method cleaning. Or like um, the treatment that we have for cancer with radiation wasn't actually made by a doctor. It was made by another profession. You know? Like, they just happened to find the right tools for them that made something useful for them. You know? For me, it's power washing, apparently. I will read in just a second. I'm very sorry. I'm trying to get as much as I see. Uh, like, I want to fall off the face of the earth, move somewhere else in a lone area, build my own house, grow my own food, my life take its course, have freedom to do my own things in my own way, and nobody knows I exist. That would be great. Um, I get that. Um, I had... I will always say this. Anybody between like the ages of 18 and 23. This is something that helped me. I was trying to discover what made me happy as an adult because you have so many options, so many new things thrown at you that you have to do. It is overwhelming. You're going to drift in your 20s. Fuck, I'm still in my 20s and I drift. And you're you're late teens. You're you're going you're going to get lost. You're going to not know what to do. You're going to not be okay. But value that time. Because once I realized what made me happy and the adult stuff that you have to do. It just comes with repetition. It's going to take time to, to understand how life works once you're an adult. There were times where, Shaded, I felt the exact same fucking way. Where I wanted to run away from everything. And just disappear, move cross country, move to fucking like California, start over, get the fuck out of my, my hometown. And not that like, I, I still live in my hometown, but I think the problem was, is that I was still trying to understand how the world worked. And I've, I've, for me, the more I tried to understand, the more questions I had. So I tried to stick with what I know while learning a bit at a time. It's not going to be easy. Life isn't. But as long as you can say that you've had a happy moment in a day, that's all that counts. And the Omni... The Omni processor... The Omni processor. Is that in uh, reference to Mark Ruber? Or Mark Rober? Mark, Mark Rober, I think is his name. I almost said Mark Ribier, but no, that's an entirely different person. Um... Mark Ribier is a musician who is uh, great. All he does is talk about making love and memes. 
I hope I don't regret saying that in like 10 years. Kind of sad to think about. <laughs> oh no, somebody did something shitty. Fuck. I don't know. I'm not going to finish that thought. <laughs> um... Like, I just need a month. I hate being here. I want to see new scenery, wake up and feel decent for once. I want to wake up in the morning and go do something and actually have the motivation for it. I'm going to I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. And it's going to sound mean, but it really isn't trying to be, and I, I want you to understand that. Um, motivation... isn't motivation isn't something that will just come to you motivation is needing something to look forward to i think you know um when i'm at work i'm like eh, it's fine it sucks because it's work nobody wants to work but you do it you know, and I try to do it well, because if I'm going to do something, I might as well do it well. You know, y you need something to look forward to and you have to make it for yourself. Like when I'm at work, I look forward to my lunch break because I get to go outside and I get to read manga. You know, there's there's something that like, even if it's just. I'm excited because work or college or whatever is over and now I can start my day. It's you, you have to make something in order to get motivated for it. You know what I mean? Like, uh, fuck. It, it really could be anything, you know, like, Hey, I, uh, like for example, the one day I, I decided I was bored and we had bread that was going to go bad. So I was like, man, I want Uncrustables. I don't know why I just want one. And I feel like paying for it, so I made them. <laughs> you know what I mean? It wasn't hard. It's peanut butter and jelly. Fucking freeze it. Cut off the crust and munch the, the ends with a fork. And I was like, man, I'm looking forward to that later. You know what I mean? It doesn't have to be this big life-changing thing. It could just be something small. Like I always say, small goals. It, the same applies to anything. You know? You think you're going to read? No problem. Just keep your ears out just in case I need you for something. Um, cuz you know, I always I always I'm needy. I need my wife. <laughs> but You, you got to have something that you can look forward to to motivate you to get through it. Because I spent a lot of my time um, lacking motivation. And I realized one day, oh, well, maybe I just don't have anything to look forward to just yet. You know what I mean? Like, maybe, maybe you could be like, oh, I know I can, I can draw something later. I can read something later. You know, I just have to get through this one thing. You know, they, I, I think the school systems, for example, they, they talk about like, uh, reward and motivation but they, they do it in such a simple way that doesn't necessarily communicate to everybody. They're like, oh, yeah, if you do this, and then you can reward yourself, and then you'll feel like you can go do more work. And it's like, no, it's not about fucking work. No, fuck that. It's, I want something that's going to make me happy or pass the time or, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not all about that fucking work, man. It's, it, it's about being fucking happy. So you got to find out what that thing is that you, you want to do that'll make you happy in a day. And then that gives you motivation to get through something. 
I think school, like, like high school and shit, um, I think it's just them telling you, like, hey, you got to get ready to do this for the rest of your life. And I don't know. I, I, I never really liked high school. Like, I had fun in high school, sure. But, like, it just feels like, hey, this is the trial run of having to do a series of bullshit for the rest of your life. Uh, we're canceling your subscription when you turn 18. <laughs> you get a 12-year subscription to something that you don't really want to fucking do. But society demands that you do it. And also, we're not going to tell you how to make yourself feel happy or content. That's something you're going to have to fucking do because we don't know how to talk about anything here. We just want to tell you how to work. All that happiness and shit? Nah, man, that's up to you to figure out. And, I mean, they have it right in one regard. That happiness and shit is up to you to figure out. But they don't show you how to find ways to make yourself happy other than, yeah, don't forget to take a break. Get your favorite snack. And then you can go study harder. And it's like, no, that's not, that's not all it is. They don't tell you that even if you take five minutes to go like fucking meditate or um, go for like a walk, they just tell you to go do something for a little bit and then come back within 20 minutes. That's not how it works. Not everyone works that way. It's just, it's depressing. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, it's, to me, it just feels like a way f to, to make society perpetuate. It's just, yeah, you go do this to go do this for the rest of your life. And nah, man, I'm not about that bullshit. You know what I mean? Give me one second here. I will, I will read what you wrote. Let me just clean this thing off. And this thing. This will burn out all the time. School happens and I hate it. And I come home wanting to do something, but I'm just mentally fucking tired. I don't want to do anything. I've lost so many ex hobbies because I can't get myself to do anything. It's so over. I don't even know what to do with myself anymore. So it's immensely better because over the summer, there was a few weeks where I was like, I miss school because it gave me something to do. A reason to get up in the morning. Summer was so exhausting. I did absolutely nothing. I understand that. Um, I, I think what it is is... I'm not going to say, like, oh, you, you just got to do it, you know. Uh, sometimes you have to force yourself to do things, you know, to remind yourself, like, oh, man, I missed this. You know, like, I got I to gotta do this again and soon. Um, I've learned, like, because I, I get mentally exhausted myself um, a lot. And I just got to remind myself that not everything that I see or hear has to be my problem. Because I think sometimes I try to take on the weight of everything. And... I don't know. I, I compartmentalize a lot, I guess. Um, which is useful and also not. <laughs> Hard to explain. Uh, I know it's hard and the shitty answer would be just ah suck it up but I'm not saying that I I'm saying try to remind yourself throughout a day because I know for me that was my problem was remind yourself that you have to accept the fact that no matter what you hear a lot of it you have to let bounce off you know what I mean and if it's bad advice I'm sorry um I know I'm also a, a tiny a, a teeny tiny bit preoccupied while I'm talking um 
I, I know what I'm trying to say, but I'm having a hard time trying to say it. Um, uh, a phrase that kind of comes to mind is don't let the world let your heart become cold. The world is going to happen. The way I look at it is the world is going to happen around you regardless whether you are around to see it. So don't let it don't let it make you cruel because it simply exists. Don't forget about yourself. You know? Like, I, I work with a lot of younger kids right now. Like me being a millennial and them being Gen Z. And I see what they're doing. And I feel that disconnect in age, man. Let me tell you. Because, like, I'll make references to something and they'll be like, huh? And I'll be like, oh, that hurts. It's just, you know, oh, man, I'm getting old. It sucks. But um, I, I see them doing the things that I did. And I'm like, man, I wish. Because, like, I, I try to give insight and advice to the younger kids because I went through it, you know. But I also know that experience is going to be the best teacher. You know? You need someone to tell you to do something. Give me two seconds. Uh, like, I need someone to tell me to do something. I'm going to hate you for it, but I'm going to do it because a part of me wants to do it for you, though I'm seriously plus extremely bad at expressing my needs. I think that's part of the problem. I just don't know how to do it. Um, what if What if you wrote something down for yourself to be able to see it later? You know? Like, write a note like, hey, this is past me talking to future me. Uh, go fucking do that thing. Do you think that would help? I'm being, I'm being genuine. Like, I, I do hope that, like, I don't know. I, 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 I want to, I want to help as best as I can, but I also know that experience will be a teacher just how life works you know <laughs> seven to ten songs learn to get a cover band i have a cover band it's fun i think a lot of the time too is is learning to let go is another big one you know, um, I'm off so many conversation happening. So, Spike just really wants a cover band. Spike is on a musical journey. Speaking of cover bands, check out me first in the Gimme Gimme, Spike. I feel like they'd be right up your alley. Um, I enjoy procrastinating. I understand that. I do my best work under pressure writing essays and doing last minute because I can focus on when I was like, yeah, I did it, but I didn't do it in my head. I understand that. I, too, have a hard time admitting that when I do things, I do. I don't know. Like, 
I always like, like for example, here's here's one of the things I always think about. Whenever I tell people I have music hobbies, um, I never tell them like I tell people, yeah, I went to school for music, but I never like. I always like I can't tell people I'm an audio engineer, even though that is really what I am doing. I always tell them I am an audio. I like, to, or I'll say like I like to call myself an audio engineer, but you know, you know. I don't know. Maybe I'm weird. Sometimes I don't feel like I did things or I didn't do them right. Sometimes I, I work under pressure best as well. Um, I did that a lot in high school. So much so that when I worked under pressure and started failing, they started suspending me. So I would get in school suspension and then I would be given a vacation to do my work. Or rather, a staycation. <laughs> but Let's check out Limit Break. They're pretty. They're pretty dope. <laughs> I think they're shit. You know the guy that mixes them? He's an asshole. Some of the writers too. At least one of the two writers is kind of a dick. <laughs> uh. I think after I finish this, I am gonna call it tonight, guys. I just realized it's 11.30 and I still have to fucking work. Ugh, nine hours. Frenaria is your favorite. Totally spelled it right. Uh, it makes me any better. I don't really know how to spell it from memory. Uh, Cornaria was a lot of fun. There's uh, like four more songs that haven't been released. One of them got taken down because we were trying to upload the remaster of it, and then they wouldn't allow us to upload it because of artwork. Scrap is here, too. Hello, Scrap. Just in time for me to about to finish this thing up and then call it a night. We've been doing a lot of introspective talking and feeling today. self-reflection I know I talked about how I feel about streaming and the worries that I have about my my twitch career how the goal of one year may have uh, doomed or damned excuse me sorry I keep burping I had a bunch of fucking pizza for dinner. But, uh, Scrap, I hope your day went well, buddy. wasting a day playing Skyrim. I am afraid to play that on stream. Because I know how I am with Skyrim. I will do the Thieves Guild quests, the werewolves, the everything, and then I'll be like, oh shit, I was supposed to go see the Greybeards. And then just do fuck all except everything but the main story. It's pretty bad when I play. So that's why I haven't played it on stream. Because I know how I am. I'm playing super hard on leveled Skyrim. 
I'm not on such a main quest because that involves killing a dragon. Oh, jeez. So then how do you beat the game? Might be a little overdramatic, but honestly, things are what I look forward to each day. I know you're going to stream when I get home and I keep checking the time or Twitch to see if you're live and I'm here and I just feel so much better. Well, I mean, I'm I'm I, I'm 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 flattered, honestly. Shaded, thank you. It means that I might be doing something right. <laughs> I appreciate you telling me that. Thank you. I uh I'm glad that I can be something that helps better people even if it's just one person uh it's it's something that's a big deal to me and uh it's nice knowing that i can somewhat do that so thank you and i want to see you succeed as much as you can or want so i'm here you know I, I, I want to give support where I can and when I can. Because it's just... I have faith in people. For better or worse. And that means I've got faith in you. Let me catch up on chat because I just seen a compliment from Scrap. Holy fuck. Uh, level up till I stop being a scrub. I mean, I'm always a scrub. I finally started to be able to reliably kill bandits. That's all I do is I kill everything in that game. You got people who like you, Alex. Probably one of the most successful discords I've seen at our tier. Really? I... Thank you. <laughs> I I just know that I'm here to to have fun and I don't want to put so much pressure on things, but I don't know. Thank you. I I'm, I'm glad that I've got people here who like me, you know? Um, I don't know. I, I, <laughs> it's weird. Um, I'll, I'll uh, I don't know. I just if it's one thing I've always wanted to be when I when I started doing this kind of thing was I knew I wanted to stay real. And that's what I try to do. And I won't lie and say like, "Oh, it's great and fun all the fucking time every day." Cuz it ain't. Some days it's just like, "Man, it sucks." But I try to I try to focus on good more than bad at any given time. You know? I just, I, I want to be a source of good and happy for people. And thank you guys. Life is sunshine and rainbows. Uh, sometimes it's drop kicks. Sometimes it's crying. But life is a fucking wild ride that I want everyone to enjoy. You know? Life is important. And it's something that should be valued. Way more than it seems to be some days, you know? I don't know. I just, I don't want the world to be so damn negative, and I try to make it a positive. There's days like that. Absolutely days like that. It's okay to to not be okay. It's okay to, to feel a certain way about a certain thing, you know, any given day. Any given day is going to be a ball of emotions. But if you just try, because that's all you can do, you know, it, it's, you just give it your all. If you can. 
or give it what you want out of it. Whether that is life or that is just a hobby, a profession that you would like to do. You just got to give it something, you know? You know, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm happy to be here because I've met so many fucking awesome people. And, you know, I, I try to put in what I want out of it, you know? I don't know, it's, it's nice to, I don't like to, like, toot my own horn and shit, but it's nice to see that, you know, people think I'm doing something right some days, you know? It's really kind of nice to, to feel that. So the compliments from both Shaded and, and Scrap, that was, I appreciate that very much. Thank you. You know, uh, I think I might have needed that. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for the, for the people that stick around. And I'm just, I'm lucky. I think I'm lucky. I got a lot to be thankful for, and I'm not a religious person. So, I don't thank the Lord, I, I thank people, and I guess somewhere in there I have to kind of thank myself for giving myself a little more credit from that job that I was talking about, coming back full circle. Um... Where, if it weren't for that job, I wouldn't be here. You know? And uh, if it weren't for my wife, I wouldn't be here. If it weren't for you guys, I wouldn't feel the success that I have. And I... I uh, it's not that I'm not going to give myself credit. I, I just... There's so many factors at play, you know? I just, I'm just, I'm lucky to have met some amazing people through here and it, it, it took a lot to get here. But I'm glad I'm here. You know? I'm glad you're here. I, I'm I'm just I don't know. Uh, like I said, I'm 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 pretty fucking lucky to be doing what I do and You think you want to write poetry? I'm gonna ask you one thing, Shaded. And it's a favor. Okay? And that favor is to give it your best shot. Don't be upset if it's not what you wanted it to be. Be happy for what it is. Because it'll eventually be where you want it to be. I I think genuinely don't don't make it so hard hard on yourself the first time that you do something. I'm I'm that way. I I get very very critical of myself. Just be happy for what it is at first until you can work at it more, you know? Scrap is a machine. And it's okay to be emotional. Fuck. You're you're absolutely allowed to feel ways, you know? It's it's okay. I won't judge you for it. I've cried on stream. I'm uh I'm a sensitive boy. I like to find the beauty in things. And 
I don't know. I, maybe maybe I'm I'm a little strange, but we're all weird, you know, and that's okay because that's what makes the world go round. Take your time. I was trained in the halls of toxic masculinity. My theater duct surgically removed in my infancy. You know, you gave me that alpha vibe. <laughs> oh shit sorry it was funny to me you got that that alpha male thing you're all good buddy i appreciate you it's all about the dialogue right Of course, you look at me and think, damn, that guy's so alpha. Why can't I be as alpha as him? <laughs> God. That man's so American. What's the other fucking indicator that I'm missing? It's just. It's called a turn signal. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, it's up there, guaranteed. God damn, I barely even touched it. It was like, poof. Let's watch this time lapse and reflect on what we've talked about today. There we go. We earned $400 doing that. We will clean the fire helicopter another time. I just realized it is 20 to midnight. I have to get some sleep. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I don't know why, but I've maybe had 12 hours of sleep in the past two days. <laughs> like, I fell asleep on Thursday night, Friday morning. I fell asleep at 3, woke up at 9, and kind of did the same thing again, and I'm just tired. I know. It's like, oh, six hours of sleep, give or take. Five, six hours of sleep, somewhere around there each night. And I don't know. I'm I'm an old man now. So I need my sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. But I don't know. I'm I'm glad we talked about the things we did today. It felt good just connecting instead of entertaining, you know? It's what I like about Power Wash Simulator. It's not it's not necessarily the content that that is the thing. It's nice to watch. But it gives it gives a chance for dialogue, you know. I uh I I I I enjoy it for that reason. Um But yeah, I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm glad that I got to hang out with you guys tonight, even though I am a little tired. This was a nice this was a nice change of pace from. I don't know, not that not that I'm not genuine when I'm trying to be entertaining, but like it was nice to not have to force anything tonight. It was nice because I'm just I'm so goddamn tired. today. There was a there was a lot of work that needed done at work. and uh, I decided to be the boy who said. Let me do all the heavy lifting. And I did. And I'm sleepy now because of it. But you guys are amazing. I I I appreciate the fuck out of you guys. The screen's probably going to go to my desktop when I do this. Oh, it didn't. Hell yeah. Uh, I'm looking at my, uh, my potential rating companions. But I do want to say, as every single time that I do, when I stream. Thank you so much for watching. But more importantly, thank you for being here and sticking around. I know 
I know it's rough. I know things can get dark, and I know things can make you reflect and not know where to turn. But as long as you check in with yourself and try and find solutions or seek help from others, we need people. We honestly just need people. There's times where you're going to want to be alone. But you need people in your life to know that you're not alone or you need insight. It's it's just it's so important. I'm going to stop ranting and talking philosophically for a few minutes. <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you like what you saw and like what we conversed about, we don't always do it, but um, if you want to stick around and, you know, talk about things and get in the feels for a little while, you can always hit that follow button and talk and hang out and just be one of the people that are here. It's okay. You don't have to if you don't want to. You can always come and go as you please. Before I get a raid set up and uh, before I roll the credits to show a little bit of love to those who did a little bit extra in the stream tonight, I'm going to remind you like I have been this entire stream. It is important to do the small goals. If you don't know what those small goals are, maybe you just got to try something new. You know? I learned something... Uh, recently that somebody pointed out to me and somebody said the key to a long life is trying something new and they're right you do something new you gain perspective and life won't feel as repetitive or mundane or you know try something new tonight try something new tomorrow do something for yourself tonight or tomorrow Time isn't going to be on your side, but time is a tool that you can use to your advantage. Um, it doesn't matter what that goal is. It's going to take time. But stick it through. Give it your best shot. That way you know if it's not for you or if it is for you. It's important to try. At the least, just try something. I promise you, you'll be better for it. Stick your neck out and do something that you love. But with that being said, guys, uh, let's go ahead. Let's see. I don't really have anybody on right now. Damn. I also have three whispers in my thing. Oh. Oh, yeah, I forgot those. Sorry. Let's see. Hmm. Sergeant Sausage is... Sergeant Sausage is streaming. That name always makes me laugh. The Sergeant is playing Halo Infinite. Good Lord, my computer is going wild. All right. We're going to go ahead and give a little bit of love over to Sergeant Sausage. They're playing Halo Infinite tonight. Probably having a little bit of fun. Probably doing a little more high-energy entertainment. Uh, but let's give them the support that we can. I'm going to hop off of here, guys. i got to get some sleep. i got to get cleaned up. Get some sleep. I love you very much. Thank you for being here tonight. Or any night. Or the night before. Or the night after. That's the future. I'll see you sometime tomorrow. But until then, do great things. Better yourself if you can. Again, I love you very much. I'll see you sometime tomorrow, but until then, take care.